Yeah, viewers, I've had some card problems with this bloody camera. This uh, generic Marco ST adapter was by the... It's got silver instead of gold contacts. I guess the silver contacts are conducting properly because it works good in the computer. But this camera will not take, pick up the card, it says it's buggered. So I put a new adapter in this one and it's working quite well. Also just an update in this computer. Added a couple of extras, I put a good uh, USB 3.0 expansion slot. Uh, TV tuner card. Record. I can record analog TV, 3D, ultra high definition TV, digital TV, radio. So you get everything I need now. It's pretty well set up. I got a good good card reader for it. No more using that stupid in that um Ritmo dock I had here. It's just flaky. It would not the USB cord that was flaky as so I got this all set up. It suits the case quite nicely. I might even upgrade this uh, later on. Get an um, M disc burner, Blu-ray burner that supports up to 128 gigabyte size Blu-ray discs. It's quite a nice drive. That goes really well with the case. This one looks quite nice. It's actually quite a good computer now. I'm gonna put another hard drive in it. Eventually, I got another four terabyte hard drive I could put in here to copy it all. My um, got my other computer backed up on it at the moment. Anyway, it's uh, worked out quite well. I managed to um, finally get my uh, VFD working uh, correctly too. I had to do a factory reset on it. I then reprogrammed the parameters of the motor in there to get the um, frequency I wanted and the speed I wanted out of it. And it's working quite well now. Yeah? But uh, the torque is it's usable, but it's not quite as usable as I would like. This shitty ass pulley. I'm just about to re drill it up. This is just, this is just an old buggered up pulley. Been drilled out before and it wasn't straight, so I finished it off and made it fit this motor shaft. I put a sleeve in it to get it to fit properly. Did some tests with it yesterday on that compressor down there. And it works, but um, hasn't got quite enough torque. It's usable, but I want more for what for the top of. Uh, for a 3 kilowatt drive, it should be more powerful than that. I'll set it all up. I'm going to get it going. There's no matter parameters there. I'll set that to 240, well, 220, 240 volt delta, what it is. Everything is all set for that motor. There was a, uh, another thing I see on the internet last night. But I could try setting one of the torque, uh, torque compensation or something, but I think it's pretty much right. I think it might be much better than what it is. So I can stop it still. It's better. I can stall the motor. See? Strong enough. Normally, if I try to stop that, it will trip the drive out and have a lot more torque than that, but it doesn't seem to do that. And I can't hook the earth up here, like it says in the picture in there, because that's that what that, that case is. That's one phase, two phase, three phase in. Hmm, I'll look at the book actually. What if I could put a jump that active? to this first one, I'm active there, active there, jump those two, I wonder if that'll do one of them. It doesn't say, it doesn't say the wire but like that, it just says the wire but like that for single phase, but I wonder if it would help just to even out a load a bit on that circuit board there. I did get another um, Powertrain branded VFD, it's good to have two, this I just I'll set it up properly eventually, but I'll get the maximum torque I can out of it. This is just used to play around with, just this to do a bench test and stuff. The other drive I'll probably set it up on this motor and that actually set it up as a proper proper setup. It's a lot easier to set up and program than like this it is. A lot better. And that one there is only a um, star connected, not delta. I was hoping to run this up a VFD, but it does run it, but it's not good. It's not good for it to have it on arm. Um, Star. 
a draft might run it properly, so it's gotta be gotta be a delta motor to run off one of these. Unfortunately this is only star. Come on, after this capacitor, what value I'm gonna find, I'm not sure. You can't run single phase motors like that off VFDs, only three phase. Anyway. It's a lot better for torque, but I wish it was a lot stronger than that. So yeah. It's usable, I can use it at that torque, it is, but it's not good enough. It won't um, overcome the initial friction of that compressor down there. I have to spin it by hand to try and assist it, then it goes. If I put too much load in that compressor, blocking the outlet, then it slows this down. So it's better than what it was before when I started with, but it's still not right, not quite right. Anyway. Once I've done all that, get the torque right, I'll set this up in a, with a little external um, tensionometer on this thing. Let's put safe, I'm happy with how it's worked here. Just want more freaking torque. I'll stand on it so it doesn't go run away. I've got it set so it goes at the torque it hurts. That's what I've got to program there. If I wrap it up like I did there too quickly, that will do that and slow down the motor. I won't spin properly. I've got to do it like this. Gradually step it up. Oh, it's going one away. See? Out of balance pulleys. Not good. Now I can set it up so the voltage at that frequency can be a bit higher. It can be a bit more torque. Which I think is what I'm going to have to do just to improve it a little bit. So the voltage might be a bit too low at this uh, low frequency. That's not very usable there. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.